In this video, I'll be showing you how I built this amazing website using Google AI Studio. You can see this is the home page and I can search for tours here like Paris, Paris and you see it already brings this and I can click on that and it takes me to the Paris tour. Back on the home page, if I go back here, if I choose all continents, let's just choose, let's say Europe and it brings me all the tours in Europe and I can choose one of these. You can see that's the Ajax search at work and you can see the itinerary and a gallery. There's a gallery here. There's just one photo for now, the tour details, and I can put in my email credentials and send a message of inquiry. I come to the destinations page. These are the different destinations and these are the packages. Paris highlight, Bali, tropical escape. I click on that. You see the itinerary. I come to the about us page. It gives us some information meet the team you can change the team members names here and you can also change the contact uh, you can also see the contact page and back in the home page you can see we have a popular destinations featured tours and we also have popular destinations why us and explore packages which takes you to the packages page and you can see this book tour port in here you click that it takes you to book a tour now how did i create this this was created all using google ai studio now for you to get to google ai studio simply go to aistudio.google.com when you come to google ai studio you're going to see something like this and this is the home then you have the playground and then view history this is our area of interest build if i click on build it's going to bring me here and here you can see this is where you are going to paste in your your prompt you're going to type your prompt inside here and you can choose to change the model from Gemini 2.5 Pro to Gemini 2.5 Flash. And also, you can change the language to maybe Angular, which, uh, which is TypeScript based. Or you can just go with the default React. Here, you can also set up your microphone uh, such that you can use voice to text um, integration, which is on Google Gemini. And then you can also see a lot of things also going on here. So this is where we are going to put in our prompt. You can type in your prompt here. Let's say build me, build me uh, a website or a travel website. And click on go and it's going to do that and click on build. But what I want us to do is to go to chat GPT and write in our prompt. So here's what I did. I came to chat GPT and I gave it this screenshot, uh, this screenshot of this uh, hotel or travel booking website which i got online and i said take a good look at that image i want something very similar but a little bit simpler i want to build a simple travel tours website where the user can do a filter search and all of that there should be the following pages home destinations packages about contact write the prompt for this website that i will be building using google ai studio the style should be modern and minimalist the design should look very similar to the image attached and all of that and then went ahead and gave me this first prompt, which was quite detailed. But I discovered that there was something missing. And I came here. Um, I came down here. I said, very good. Now I want you to rewrite and add an Ajax search bar in the homepage under the hero section with two columns. One for tour and the other for, con uh, for continent. You also write, you, you also rightly mentioned feature tour popular destinations. I want you to add those cards should be clickable and lead the visitor to the page for the particular tour and this is what it has given me it says here is the written ajax tool clickable prominent head and all of that so i'll simply copy all of these i'll simply copy all of these right to this point i'll copy this now i've come back to google ai studio so what i need to do is just to paste in this prompt so you can see the prompt is really long and detailed now I advise you to always use ChatGPT Chat GPT for your prompts. I've used Gemini to create prompts, but it didn't do that well. Use ChatGPT. Now just click on build. So it's going to take its time and it's building. You see it's going to be going through some iterations. You see it says here that it's thinking. I'll pause the video and come back to you when it's done. Now it's gone through and given me the first iteration, but the first um, the first review it gave me, there was no hero section here. There was no hero page here. That's on this. Uh, there was no hero image here, rather. And then 
I went and said, wow, very beautiful. The only thing I see is that there is no hero. The hero section has no image and the explore packages text seems to be camouflaged in the button. So this particular part here, this, the, the background was white and then the text too was white. So you had to hover over this before seeing the text. So it says, of course, I can certainly fix those visual issues for you. And you see, it went ahead and it fixed them. And it says the picture is not good. It gave me the picture of somebody walking. I wanted the picture which shows that it's actually a travel tour. And it replaced that too. And then now I can just click to full screen and you're going to see this is the website. Very, very clean and very, very, you know, performant. You see Grand Canyon and it gives you everything here. So the next thing is for us to migrate this to hosting. So we need to host this somewhere. So there are different options for us to host this. You can copy and save this to your Google Drive. You can download this to your website or to your computer. You can also save it to GitHub so that you can migrate it to apps like Netlify. You can also deploy this using Google Cloud and then you can share this app. But for us, we are going to first of all download this app so it's downloaded i'm going to open here we have it if i just go ahead and extract this and i can see this is it you can see the different files in the page this is one of the most important files the index.html most often you can run this on chrome you're going to see um it gives us this white screen but never mind we are going to fix that so we are going to go to a website called tiny host which is tiny with uh, two eyes and just click there and on tiny host we are going to create an account so it tells you upload file and all of that but the first thing i want us to do is to sign up on tiny host for free what tiny host does is that it gives you free hosting and a free domain name which is actually a subdomain now you can see here uh, i've signed up already i'm going to click on upload and then here you need to choose code option and then give it a name here wonder lost tours because if you use any generic name it's very likely it's already chosen so click the code click on upload and then i'm going to choose this zip i will do that um i'll change it to wonder lost tours a something of that sort and then i'm going to publish it it's working this magic is going to take a little bit of time i now am presented with this link if i click on and see here that everything is working pretty well destinations and all of that so in a nutshell that is how to use google ai studio to build a website to host it for free and also with a free domain if you got any value out of this video please make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel Turn on the notification bell and if you have any question post them in the comment section god bless you peace